Welcome back, Pierce Traders and YouTube, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the US session. Again, today we'll be going over S&P 500, gold, and also oil, give you guys some of the levels we'll be looking at. So again, if you guys like the videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys subscribe with us. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here. Love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So for S&P 500, had a nice downward movement today. Uh, we do have some support, nice double bottom here at 3899.75, and uh, S&P still in a nice downtrend. So if you want to continue the short opportunity, maybe let it get back up here, resistance 3943 to about 3952. Now, if we get up into this area, we are going to be looking for maybe a nice double top here, and then a short opportunity to come right back down from this area. That could be a good opportunity for those who want the short to continue that. Uh, downtrend if not my next level is up above 39.88 to about 99 and then 40.09 uh, uh, to about 40.17 all the way at the top here so we'll see what happens there we could have a little bit of a micro support 39.24.25 to bring us back up into this resistance here so keep an eye out uh, but if not main support here 38.99.75 to about 39.10.25 this is our zone of support really want to see if we can get down there get a nice bounce and that could be also a fade for those who want to try to fade against this downtrend but if you want the best opportunities the uh, short idea is going to be the best for a continued move to the downside uh, let's take a look here at gold so for gold we're kind of right in the middle uh, we do want to see gold get back into our support support here 1809 this is where we're looking for a nice bounce and then a push right back up uh, resistance 1826.3 to about 1833.1 and then above that 1843.2 as the area of resistance and support down below 1798.1 so if we don't hold 1809 look for this to come down here give you a nice double bottom and then a bounce to the upside there on gold let's take a look at crude oil so crude oil similar to S&P had a nice downward day could have resistance 110.93 is our first area of resistance if not there 111.75 is the next area here that we could look for a nice short opportunity from. Uh, support down below 109.26 to about 109.51. And then below that 107.65 to about 108.43. All the way down here. Nice double bottom would give a good long opportunity there for an exhaustion move uh, back up for those who want to fade it. But for those who want to stick to trend, 110.93, that should be a good area to find that uh, resistance there. If we do get the opportunity to get a uh, double top, that's going to be a good area right there. Uh, so 110, let's see, 110.93, bring it back right over here. Yeah, so somewhere right around here. 110.93 is going to be a good opportunity there if we get a nice double top there. That's going to be what we're looking out for for the London session. But that pretty much wraps it up for S&P 500 gold and also oil again if you guys do like the videos make sure you smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet uh, make sure you guys subscribe with us if you guys are going to trade for the london session and even for the u.s session make sure you guys trade with discipline and patience you guys take care have a great night